Stratica, tovarishi, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Hedge Money, Wars of Ancient Greece. And uh, in the time since we've last convened, I took uh, a little bit of uh, time to reconvene my army in attack position to march into uh, Messena, Messene, something along those lines. And anyway, we're bolstering our army a little bit. It will include two regiments of Spartan hoplites, two regiments of Cretan archers, and two ballista. So we are going to march right on in. We're going to take a position in these plans and capture their farms and then kind of use that as a base for which to attack. We just shoot off some Athenian raiders. And uh, I've got a defensive structure in Crete that I think uh, will be pretty stable. One, one cool thing is... Uh, You'll notice uh, that when you mouse over a area, it tells you a little bit about it. So if you march over uh, uh, Messene, 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 whatever, it says uh, uh, Messene was enslaved by the Spartans for centuries, but has been recently been liberated by Thebes. So anyway. But they are going to be re-enslaved by us. Because uh, that's just the way things go. Looks like this is where most of their army is situated. So let's... Uh march in that direction. I'll see if they'll actually send units out to face us. Usually they do. Oh, here they come. They're finally sallying forth their armies to try and defeat us, but I think it might be kind of too little, too late type of deal. The Spartans will try and hold our enemies in position. Oh no, the Peltists are slipping by us! Anyway, the Spartans will try and hold them in position. Well, wow, this is their, well, wow. okay. They're going to decide that this is a fight they do not want to fight. So they're going to, looks like they're going to try and attack and do some damage. But. Our formations of Spartan hoplites and Cretan archers are proving to be uh, completely completely disastrous for our enemies. Well, our first city is taken. Dismantle their walls. We'll connect to a farm. And oh crap. Well, we've lost one regiment of Cretan archers. Spartan 
and hoplites are still standing tall. Still one regiment of Christians left. Should recruit another batch. I think three will probably be more optimal than two. However, even though it looked like our armies may have been captured in a pincer or may have been stuck in a pincer movement, we were able to sally forth and fight back. And smash our small city state foes. And now. Jeez. They're remustering for the counterattack. Controlling units can be a little bit dicey in this game, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Anyway. Well, I hope that the, our, ba our battles are going well. And it looks like they are for the most part. The siege of their capital continues. So you know, they, they get, for some reason, the Decretions just rolled over and let us conquer them. These guys are putting up a much greater fight. Persian Empire has been discovered. Oh, crap, I think we lost some of our ballistas. Yes, we did. Well, that will make this siege much harder. Send these guys back. Actually, I'll send them here. They'll be able to start reinforcing. Some more hoplites moving in from Sparta. Well, I think we're gonna have to commit more of my army to this attack than I thought we would.
to get these Cretian archers to the front lines. Hopefully they can get there before winter sets in, or they'll all die mid-voyage, which will uh, be not so much fun. Alright, Spartans are going to begin the siege. Wow, when Ballista was still alive, I didn't even notice. Where's our Cretan archer reinforcements? I think they'll make it before winter sets in. It'll also be nice because we can't get harassed by the Athenians during winter in Crete. Ballistas are also on the way. <laughs> Continue to tear down their capital. This one city is completely... Uh, Corona is completely uh, encircled by enemy territory. But once you take their capital, uh, the, rest of this city, the rest of these territories will fall fairly quickly. I always like to leave their capital with walls because I'm nice that way. It's going to take a lot of men to uh, keep it reinforced. You can only, um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can only attach your cities to a certain number of uh, nodes. They're called supply nodes. So you can only attach it to a certain number of farms or other cities or mines or whatever else. So I always like to wait until the very last, uh, to very end before I start to assign those nodes besides the more necessary ones or the ones that I deem more necessary such as um, food and supply lines to other cities for reinforcements and those types of things okay you Christian archers are here
Wow, I got like five different people dismissing me on Facebook at the same time. All right, once this fucking battery bolt, uh, catapult battery starts to be replenished. Is it, how is it being replenished? I have no idea. Who cares? Oh, there's, the, never mind. There's a second, uh, battery. So I'm pretty sure we, uh, crushed the majority of their armies in, uh, the field outside their capital here. So that means we can mop up the rest of their cities pretty quickly. So, looks like mo the majority of what they have left are peltists and my archers will be able to take care of them pretty easily. in the siege. So I'm thinking of buying a new car this weekend. We'll see how things go. I was uh, originally planning to buy uh, a new car from my new job, um, but it just doesn't seem like I'm going to have uh, that kind of money right now. So I've degraded my ambitions a little bit, plus the bank won't give me a loan. Uh, for a, a new car, so I'll have to have uh, my parents probably sign off on it to help me out. But uh, still, though, a new car is always very exciting. I sold my old one. I sold it to a uh, lovely Italian couple here in my hometown. But uh, what I was thinking of getting originally was uh, a Hyundai Veloster, which are, you know, pretty cool looking cars. Like, uh, for me, the most important thing is, like, generally, like, fuel economy, which is obviously important in this day and age. So it had that under its belt, but also had a lot of other things that I thought were really cool. Like, it came standard with, like, a... Like a like a nav system and video screens and like uh, backup cameras and all these different types of things that I, <laughs> I really, really wanted. Um, on top of that, it, it looked pretty cool, but it's just not going to be in the cards, it seems. So I've got a couple different things in mind, but we'll have to see when the time comes where I'm going to decide to go with it. Huh, this is bad. I'm going to have to ship these, capture these sheep and ship them into the city. Because there's no way it's going to be able to be supplied for food. Because it's winter. And, uh... All these trade routes are going to be non-existent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are they marching into our territory? They are, but it doesn't look like they're going to attack. Megalopolis.
Because you see, um, if you don't know how you're holding Rebellion, as you can see, is 0 out of 20. Basically, that means you need 20 soldiers in the city to quell the Rebellion. And if it's got a, a uh, wall around it, you need 40. And, what the hell, I do not need that many. And um, your average just spearman mercenary militia unit has uh, 30 guys in it. So I always generally destroy the walls, so I only need one unit of spear militia in it to hold it. And that means I can then focus my efforts and my monetary resources to other endeavors. But the back of their army is crushed, so this is really just a mop-up operation. Also, uh, this weekend, going into America again, I seem to be visiting America an awful lot these days. But this time, it's because me, my brother, and my dad are going to see a Blue Jays game in Seattle. Which uh, will be very cool because uh, I think I've told most of you guys, or some of you guys at least, that I don't really like sports. But the one sport I do like is baseball. And obviously I got a root for the Blue Jays being the only Canadian team. And I've never actually uh, gotten the chance to see them play live. Unfortunately, they're not doing so good uh, this season. They were actually favored to win the World Series, which has been really cool to uh, bring the World Series back to Canada for the first time in like 20 years. But uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. Because they had like a really good winning streak back in June and then the wheels just kind of fell off and they've been doing really terribly. One sport. Oh, well, I guess you could, if you if you classify StarCraft as a sport, I also like StarCraft. Actually, no. I have this supply line. Damn it! It's still connected by water. All right, bring forth the sheep. Oh wow, we have a Spartan Brigade on this island that has literally been doing nothing the entire time. We should bring them forth to attack. Alright, well, these poor bastards have but one city left. And they don't even have any military units defending it, so we're just going to march up and mop them up. I'm going to send my... Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice that farm there. So that'll certainly be helpful. Oh, crap. I forgot to have the Spartans tear down the walls. Oh well, they'll figure it out. Where should we connect this mine to? Over yonder. 
They start pumping out workers to man it. Though it could be putting slaves in there. Maybe we should do that instead. It'll save us money. Oh, that'll be a long-term goal. Is to replace workers with slaves that we find. So right now, my immediate goal is to try and take the entirety of this glob. Once I have this glob, I'll have roughly what the Spartan Empire kind of looked like. Although they had some other territories, like they moved up in here. I'm not entirely sure the, familiar with these areas of Greece. And they had some, some territory like up here. But we will regain our former glory. Oh man, they do have some military units left, but they only have a handful of hoplites, which are going to be crushed by the Spartans. So, this is kind of payback for those one time that they sent in a crap ton of units and burned my farms. pretty much justice for that. Fortunately, these areas are pretty con easy to conquer because one, well, we've got a good unit combination. And two, Uh, supply lines are easy to keep and logistics are easy to figure out. Oh, they're already capturing that. Oh, they have another mine. I'm actually going to take that fortress because sometimes the uh, Elenian League or Elean League can uh, move in and they can raid through this area if they want to. Elise. Elise was once ruled by King Aegeus, known for his Aegean stables. Megalopolis was founded by Thebes in 371 BC, given to the Akkadians as a defensive bulwark against Spartan aggression. Oh, well. I'm really glad they're looking out for that Spartan aggression, but it's not going to help you know it much now. Oh, we're sieging the fortress, okay. Like, why haven't, why can't I put men in it yet? Does this not have any food? No, it still has some food. Oh, this is the one without food. 